What's up, insiders? A very special episode for you today. Coming to you from Guadalajara, the place where people still sweep streets with brooms, not blowers. Visiting Boss Up Solutions, but the episode will not be about them. The episode will be about delegation, hiring call centers, hiring virtual assistants, because Guadalajara is known for it. For years, roofers all over the country have been buying leads from call centers located here in Guadalajara. Latif Farouk, founder of Boss Up Solutions, actually used to own call center. He sold it years ago, but he knows ins and outs. He knows all the players. And I personally learned so much from the man himself in the past few days about delegation. Arguably, he's the best delegator in business. I've never seen anyone delegating as much as Latif in personal life and in business life. He delegates every single task and to be honest with you, you have to. When you're that busy, you have to delegate. It helps with your work-life balance and work productivity in general. So I'm going to show you their office. I promise you're going to learn a thing or two for yourself, how to improve your work-life balance and how to learn to delegate. The whole episode will be about delegation and how not to be a little boss. Let's go. Is it so time? Is it like I'll send uh, two, two, pe two people elevator. Uh, I've gotten away from the heavy traffic, so come on in. Hello. Hey guys. Hey everybody. So I'm here with Dimitri over at Boss Up Solutions. He happened to visit, which I'm very grateful because one of the things that happened. So I'm gonna get kind of right into it. We talked about conferences, what they, where they were, where they're coming, some of the problems. It gave faced. me a lot of crap about the roofing process conference, like I a did. lot of crap. So one of the things that people miss out on when they're hiring people they don't think about is just maintaining computers. We have a full-time guy that comes through uh, two, three times a week or on call if we need to, to repair computers, fix the internet, deal with the Wi-Fi. We have redundancy, we have two Wi-Fis. We have a generator, like we have the power stuff figured out. We have a full-time maintenance guy that is our MacGyver to fix stuff like broken toilets. You don't think about broken chairs, uh, finding the stations. Guy. Sometimes you have to reset your setup. So all that So stuff. the same guy who fixes computers will unclog the toilet? No, different guy. <laughs> he fixes computers. He'll take some home, he'll replace them, he'll install new computers. We have him come update them once a month, right? Is it once a month? Once a month, he updates. There's things that you don't factor in. Can you come to price. Minneapolis? A few computers Who? that are super slow. Minneapolis. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. No, Abner's awesome. By the way, if anyone's watching, you send your computer down to Abner, I'll fix it. Heavy shipping charge, but he'll fix it. <laughs> but even replacing batteries and everything. The maintenance that it takes to keep equipment going is so difficult, and people don't understand. I've seen their slogan many, many times before, don't be a little boss. And I thought it's just a catchy phrase. I thought it's just a cool marketing slogan um, good business name, Boss Up Solutions. Never really thought about it, what it really means. After spending two days with the team, I was absolutely impressed with the talent they have and also how much they know about the business. These people are helping roofers all over the country in the United States and Canada to become a better boss. And they're struggling. They're struggling because some of them understand business more than those business owners that they're trying to help and they have a lot of good advice for them so listen to their advice maybe take a few notes because you will learn something in this video so yes yeah, so as i told you about obviously entry if you come here you'll see our collection Why you have room. so many empty tequila bottles because if i left them full they drink them so i know where, they, I know where the good ones are <laughs> So this here is our collections room. So for our collections or admin stuff, this would be the group. This are they collecting have. your bills or no, your clients' no, bills? No, this is for clients' bills. So they're calling the insurance carriers, they're sitting on uh, hold with them, they're working through them. You'll get to talk to all of them in a while. I want you to talk sure. to them, not me, and understand sure. what's happening. No, I like it. <clears throat> they're working on, uh, you can see, little center, quiet room. Awesome. So like departments, you know, the whole idea is departments, so that way we're, get to be specialists, not generalists. What's your advice to roofing contractors, how to boss up? I think commitment and consistency is a big part of it. If you're committed and you're consistent, you'll get to the top. How many have it? I think very few, but we can all get to it. <laughs> so 10%, 20%? Maybe a 25%. 25% have it, 75 don't have it. For or those seven, getting there. Or you're getting there, 75, step up, boss up. I think the key of beginning, uh, becoming a bigger boss is having self-confidence 
and believe in yourself and in what you're capable of. Love it. Absolutely love it. How does someone build the confidence? I think it all starts with your personal life, mm -hmm. uh, your personal growth, um, what you want to be, if you want to be a good person, if you actually want to grow. I think it starts with that and then when you actually want to do something financially or have your own business with it all includes your passions and stuff like that what you like this right here is our outdoor area just but here's the one thing if, notice how much square footage of whiteboard i have in this office you'll be you'll be pressed to find anyone who has as much whiteboard as i do i love whiteboard business development room obviously full whiteboard this is our dev room. This is uh, Diego. He does our camera work. Liz, she's working the bum stuff now. Jeanette's helped you in the past. Jeanette, you know, yes, Dimitri. I remember you. Um, so I don't keep an office. I don't believe in an office. I feel like it should be amongst everyone. So this is a room that sure. I'll typically work out of or that swing. Like literally, we don't really do much. What does it mean to be a better boss? How do you boss up? Well, to me personally, I think something that's very important is just to treat your team as what it is your team and being nice but also being strong you know you have to know exactly what you have to do what they have to do just i think we we were all we will all do a better job if we have like a nice relationship right i think that's key so everyone wants to come and work and they like working for you and i think that could really help growing a business or whatever in life in general i think and i am the coo of bums what is bums Bums is Boss of Managed Solutions. Such a horrible it's... name. Whoever came up with it <laughs> need rebranding. Latif, you need rebranding. Bums. Oh, no. <laughs> That's Latif's dog's name, too. <laughs> All right. <laughs> you manage a lot of accounts. What's your advice yes. to contractors? How does a con uh, do contractor become a bigger boss? I think that being goal-driven, it's very important because that way you know what you need from your employees. You know what the, your employees will know what they need to do for you. They will be more motivated to uh, meet the goals when they have a clear direction. The swing, um, they use the station a lot. So Sayani's been with me for how many years? Nine. Nine years. Yes. She used to work for Jose a long time ago. That's how we officially met. Yeah. Jose's been blowing up my phone like, Dimitri's here, Dimitri's here, da, da, da. like a little kid, you know? Like, yeah. oh my God, I want to see Santa. Uh, what's your advice for the contractors? How, how do you become a bigger boss? Be consistent and do not lack communication. So communication is the key? Yes, always. Well, thank you so much. No problem. Okay, first of all, you need commitment with yourself, be disciplined, and set goals in the short, medium, and long term. Short, medium, uh, give me timeline. How short, how medium, and how long? Short could be like weekly to, to finish your job or you set like the, the team. Medium, like two or three months, and long term for me, it could be like a year, six months, a year, something like that. Okay. Um, how many people have it, in your opinion? Like p contractors you're working with, how many have excellent discipline, everything you just described? To be honest, not much. Not they many? need to be disciplined, because most of them are like, phew, they have bad habits, so. <laughs> They, they what kind of habits? I want to know. Uh, like, th they are disorganized, so they need to figure out how to organize their own company, doing like working earlier and be at the job site, things like that, you know? Be always in trend, keep what's trending, follow your insights, review what you need to do, do reels, basically be in social media constantly to see what's trending so you can get more hashtags, more people looking at your profile. And Why is it important? Because you can get clients out of there. If you do a good social media, you can have clients out of there. Don't be left behind. You want to be a better boss? Boss up on social media. I like it. I support it. My name is Dimitri. I support this message. I got to show you this, okay? Not the Epstein Island, but here. <laughs> Epstein Island. Because <laughs> your comment. Oh, wow. So, bunk bed, zen area, the whole idea here, you got books, you got Scrabble, you got some games. The whole idea is everyone needs a place to rest at work. Take a nap? Take a nap, turn on the AC, I like naps chill. at work. Me too. Chill out, relax.
So our break room is a very important place of the office. Actually, you guys tell them. Why do we appreciate the break room? We get to sleep. Like our whole lunch hour, we get to sleep and disconnect from. Yeah. For one hour? Yeah. L lunch naps? <laughs> Not talk to anyone for an hour. Yep. <laughs> Some I don't have the computer in front of me, so I know I'm not going to be like on the computer, you know, yep. all the time. The goal in is groups, and also sometimes, uh, you know, people get cramps, people get sick. You saw somebody yesterday. <laughs> it's a good place. They can just go rest for a while, just rest it off. Or um, we have a lot of students. Sometimes they don't have time to nap. They'll actually come in, nap, and then go to their class. So you get mad respect for their work ethic, you know? You need to feel fear and, and do it anyway. To become... Say it again. You have to have fear. You have to feel the fear and do it anyway. Why do you have to feel the fear? I don't know, like to motivate you and to become a person that you never imagined. To be. Lo love it. So if you if you're, don't have fear, maybe your goals are too small. You, you have to have a fear in business. This guy, every day I see him with a broom. You're doing that too much, man. Too much. These floors are already clean. Stop polishing them, or is this it is just for the need. camera? We need no. We need him busy. He has to stay active. It's part of his job. But he also has helped us build. He is a player. driver. He is a Maintenance flooring guy. guy. Main... He's our MacGyver. Or he's, he's our slash. He does a lot of stuff. So he picks us up late at night. He drops us off. He maintains everything. Waters the plants. We have a cleaning lady too. She's in twice a week. Uh, but we still have him do the general everyday cleaning. Also, other things you don't think about when you have an office. Who's cleaning the toilet? Who's gonna fix when it gets clogged? Who's going to fix the air conditioner when it's not running? He handles a majority of that. Oh, I want to hear from Estimator, the tip, how do you become a bigger boss? Well, uh, me as an employee, and I have a good example here, um, leadership, I think leadership is super important. Why? Because that's how the boss teach the, the employees with the example. What exactly leadership for you? Leadership, I mean like, I'm going to talk about some experience I, have, I had sure. here. I, we work in Mexico, so here in Mexico, they don't have like this um, way to work on the companies. So, for example, our boss is always like super energetic, like, hey, we need to get goals, and uh, this is how we are going to do. You always see him like working, being, being the example for, for us. So that's how he motivates us to keep working and, and keep the way to the goals of the company. Love it. If you want to be a bigger boss, work in your leadership. Great tip. Thank you. Howdy. Oh. Okay. So it's lunch time. This is cool. So, <clears throat> yeah, I put these, I had these made just for the loud mounts. And I have the telephone booths just because I wanted telephone booths. So I'll go in here. You notice how everyone's got their own comfy chairs. You're so young, but you already look like a boss. <laughs> What's your advice to contractors how to be a bigger, better boss? My advice would be to document yourself as much as you can. Try to uh, become an expert in one main thing, not uh, try to take as much space as you can. Become an expert in one main thing. Once that you feel the expertise, once that you have the actual uh, practice on it, you can exploit that and make it exponential. This is Danny. she's exactly level three girl. She studied under Steve Harmon. Hey, how are you? And nice she did a bunch of other stuff. So there's six of them in here that kind of do their estimates and what have yeah. you. And she's working on an exact right now. I'm yeah, sure I'm doing an on. estimate right now, actually. So I'm finishing up this one. Um, this is for uh, water damage. So I'm adding some um, ceiling insulation and drywall painting to a room right now. And nice. you go to school for what's your school stuff? Because you, you guys are pretty similar. Yeah, we all go to engineer architect school right now. And two of us, two and a half are already <laughs> graduated. <laughs> She's got to finish her paper. That's yeah, right. that's true. And uh, Angela and I, we're just, uh, we're graduating this year, actually. December. We are, aren't we? We are. That's right. In December. So we have a problem when people not going to school, we push them to go to school. Shut up. Yeah, which is awesome, actually. <laughs> What's your advice for roofing contractors? How to become a better, bigger boss? I would say, um, first of all, have a clear vision of where do you want to go. Um, have leadership, that's very important. And also um, have willingness to, to take risks. That would be my advice. So do you feel like many contractors are afraid to take risks? Sometimes I would say like they get comfortable where, where they are, so they don't risk it to grow. 
I think uh, learning and improving will be a great advice. Uh, How does someone learn and improve? What do you recommend? Going to school or going to conferences? Well, actually, I think you learn a little bit more like in the in the field. But if you go like to conferences or sometimes they do like um, classes where they uh, specify on what you want to do, like for marketing or like um, what to do or how to handle your people in your industry, in your business, like it helps a lot growing up your mind. Well, too. Check out the roofing inside slog on the back. She's like, I want to do it on the back. <laughs> that on the back. That's really cool. Though. That's Instagram great, person, by the way, I asked them to write the names and she gave me the presentation of her name. You, you can tell marketing. Instagram is your favorite platform? Uh, no, it's not, but it's really <laughs> helpful. And she told me how to hold my camera. <laughs> <laughs> so Latif here, the ultimate boss. Latif, how do someone boss up? What do you have to do to become a bigger boss? Uh, I think it's all about self-improvement. You got to learn to be a better person, better leader. You need to help understand how to delegate, how to track, how not to micromanage, how to trust and how to hand things off. But that means self-improvement. It means improving yourself. I can only change myself. I can't change you. But if I learn to work with you and I learn to work with others, then I can make it successful. You have to be the whole boss or being a leader is being able to work with people that can't be managed. You learn to manage them. You learn systems. So educate yourself, train, videos, um, even in Instagram, like find the better material to educate yourself, improve yourself, and your life will improve and your employees will improve. This one is deep because there's nothing more sad in business than business owner who's on the path of self-destruction. You can almost guarantee that that business will fail and he's gonna be, become little boss, smaller boss, not a bigger boss. Awesome, good tip.